Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and this is a four minute look at my four show tanks, so please stay tuned. Today I'm beginning my four minute tour with my 55 gallon tropical community aquarium. There are quite a mix of tank mates living in here. From snails to sharks to guppies, a rope fish named Rufus, another one of my hubby's choice names. I have five angelfish that pretty much are the focal point of this aquarium. They are always out in front, first to greet me, and always first to eat. This water change, I only changed the water and cleaned my canister, and wow, it was mucky. I only remove everything escape and deeply vacuum this tank every other week. Of my four show tanks, this one is by far the most work. With the lovely colors and assortment of inhabitants, it's a fun aquarium to watch. There's always a ton of activity going on to enjoy. Moving along, we come to visit Humphrey, my handsome flower horn. Humphrey's about two years old now and 11 inches. He resides in his own 75 gallon aquarium. Each evening before bed, Humphrey gets three fresh raw shrimp. Those are by far his favorite. He's not big on earthworms, but he does enjoy chicken hearts. In his aquarium, he has one stone getting very nice and green. He also has a bubbler set on under a stone so he can't get stuck in the tubing or move it. He likes to swim through the bubbles. He liked the bubbles coming from the sponge filter, so that's why I added the bubbler for him. He also plays in the sand and often makes circles showing the glass beneath. Because flower horns are large fish, their waste they produce is also a fair amount. It's very important to have adequate filtration. Humphrey has a reticulated sponge filter in the corner and a two canister filters beneath the tank. Of all my tanks, my first stop is always to say good morning to Humphrey. That brings me to my 75 gallon African, Malawi, and Buna community. As many of you know, the Mbuna are my favorite of all cichlids. The colors they display, their unique patterns, they are second to no other freshwater fish, in my opinion. They just seem to be so filled with life and excitement. They're intelligent and very interactive with anyone who approaches the tank. And it's not always about food. They act the same way even a few minutes after feeding. I personally think they are as curious about us as we are of them. Sometimes I just sit in front of the tank and watch them. Before long, I realize I have an audience in them watching me right back. They are truly a stunning, unique fish that every aquarist should experience. Finally, completing this four tank tour, we come to my 150 gallon baby. She is home to my hawks and peacocks community. This group is still under construction. I have plans in changing some of the stock. I do have a list of cichlids I plan on adding, but until I sell some to make room, that won't be happening. I'll probably give more thought in the fall as this time of year is just too busy. The only cichlids that seem to have regular spats are my three large male dolphins. What impresses me the most is my little yellow belly Albert. He is the smallest in the tank, yet he has the biggest personality. He has no qualms about going head to head with one of the big male dolphins if he is crossed into his territory. It's amazing to watch the big dolphin leave when the little guy gets angry. The only regular breeding that's going on right now are my Super Red Empress group of two males and four females. I would love to see my Lathronops Intermedius breed, but well, I have four males and one female, so it's not likely. 
But anyway, this tank is really a joy to me and a pleasure to share. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an excellent weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an excellent weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.